Major Slack videos. Yeah, <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> Shut up, Pee Wee. Okay. Well, yeah, my name is Major Slack. Thanks for joining me again. Let's walk through some more Shadow Aboard. This is the fall mission. This is a hellacious three part mission. Um, I strongly recommend you get the Mighty Reversal upgrade for the perfect counter skill, which will allow you to gain might every time you do a counter. And also, you should get the Frostbite upgrade for the Ice Storm skill, which will add a critical hit um, to the end of every Frost Storm Flurry Strike sequence. Next gear. Um, I'm just pointing out what I've got. Um, I'm dubbing in the commentary, by the way. And I recorded this last week, so yeah. Oh, um, now I remember. Get a bow that has a lot of shots in it. You're the bow with the most shots in it. Your most powerful bow with the most shots. That's the most important thing. And um, I put vitality gems in everything except the bow and the dagger, okay? So that, you know, you want to bump up your health as much as possible. So you get a health boost by putting vitality gems in the cloak and the armor. That's the green gems. And put warrior gems in your bow and your dagger. And you're all set. That's especially for the Nazgul fight. Which is like probably the worst part of this mission. That's it. So that's how I'm going in. Like I said, three part uh, mission. First a big battle. Then the Nazgul fight. And then a little bit of a stealth dominate thing at the end when we get transported to a new um, territory. Now, first battle, we're with a whole bunch of Gondorians. You gotta protect them. If they die, you die. That's it. So, I find the best thing to do is just climb up here, get the high ground, and use your bow to provide support to these guys. Um, I initially thought that uh, there's a couple of war trolls that come in eventually. I initially thought that you should target them immediately, but I found that the platoon, there they are, there's the war troll, yeah, the platoon of orcs are actually more dangerous to the Gondorians than the war trolls. So take out as many of them as possible until you empty your bow. Eventually a drake's going to come on the scene. A drake is a dragon, fire-breathing dragon. You just saw the big shadow fly by there. Make sure you build up your might meter in preparation for the drake, because the drake can be killed instantly if he's on the ground, and you have full might. So here, I'm building up my might. One more. Hit him a couple times. Got full might. Do an execution and that's it. That's the end of the Drake. That's all you have to do. He's on the ground and you got full might. Do an execution. Instant kill. Now, um, a giant gigantic captain war troll is going to come on the scene. Eventually. All this time you see the, the timer counting down. We basically have to survive for two minutes so we survived a minute and when the timer counts down more Gondorians will come in and help out so you gotta survive until then so here I'm just smacking them up I don't like to get too deep into the, the combat here because I'm not really a hacker, hacker and slasher I'm more of a special move kind of uh, guy here. Also, you have use of followers, eh? So, if you're getting low on Gondorians, just call up some followers, which is what I just, just did. I didn't really feel that threat. I just wanted to, you know, call them in anyways. Also, I would strongly recommend that you go into this fight with a full Elven Rage Meter. Um... I got so used to practicing without going in with a full Elven Rage Meter that I just went in without, but yeah. If you, you know, if you got a spare 10 or 15 minutes, go out there into the wilds and whack a whole bunch of orcs and build up your blue bar so that it's full. And then go in with a full Elven Rage Meter. You see my, it's full now. So I have, yeah, I have that as it kind of like aves in the hole. There we go. So see, we survived. Reinforcements came in. And I'm going to use my Elven Rage now. To just clear out the pack just before the big boss comes in. Suck some health out of that guy, and here's the boss. City of Gondor. I think City of Mordor now. Pretty sure it's always a war troll captain, although his specs will. It's completely random. So this time I got poison proof, enraged by acrobatics. And he's a beast master. 
which explains why he whacked my Karagori instantly. I called up a Karagori later on. Okay, so here's the thing. I'm going to stun him. Just like all the War Trolls do headshots, and you can temporarily stun him, and you run up close and press the grab button, and you'll scoot under his legs and go up on his back, like that, up on his back, and you can stab him. The best thing to do is steer him over to this Balefire fence there and set him on fire. <laughs> There's a lot of damage. And then rinse and repeat. Get some more arrows however you can. Headshots. Here we go, scoot under. His stats, yeah, I'm good. Take him over to the Balefire. <laughs> I just love doing this. Originally, I thought, okay, whack as many orcs as possible, but um, he's pretty indiscriminate. Your Gondorians are, are down there, and sometimes he, you know, they end up taking friendly fire. Not sometimes, always. So I think it's best to just steer him over to the Balefire, that green fire. Yeah, it says clumsy, um, which, you know, here I got taken down to a last chance. And I really didn't want to use this up now because I wanted to save all my last chances for the Nazgul, the hellacious Nazgul fight coming up later. Here, watch, I try to grab him. So, apparently, that's not exactly right that he doesn't, you know, he needs to be stunned before he can grab him. Okay, so I just decided to try to call in Karagor. I totally forgot that he's a Beastmaster, so this was kind of just, you know, a minor distraction for him. <laughs> Whacked him instantly. <laughs> oh well. Uh, anyways, he's down to within an inch of his life, so I'm not that worried. Check this out. Not now. Right. I'm gonna pull off a headshot here. And that kind of ticked him off, but I was jumping around. There we go. Headshot. Boom. And he's down. Gives up what looks like an epic. I really wish they wouldn't do this. Cut into a cutscene right after a big fight, just when you're about to grab your goodies. It's so freaking emasculating. <laughs> Anyways. Any developers the out there? You hear what I'm saying? Save your people! Retreat! You betrayed us. I did this for you, Ritual. For your survival. The blood here means nothing. I would give all of Gondor to save you. What of our people? Of our honor? There is no honor in death. Castamir! to our bargain. My daughter's freedom. Castamir, no! She's free to die with her people.
Okay, now it's time for the hellacious Nazgul fight. Get used to these guys because you're going to be facing them a lot throughout the game, okay? So, don't think this is like a one-time deal. It's kind of like a quick time event where you have to press and hold the counter button for a second. Because they typically all attack one right after the other. Once they've all attacked, then go ape with your sword on one of them. Try to focus only on one so the like, you know, you're always attacking the same one. Bringing down his health. Once again, you want the mighty reversal upgrade, which gives you might every time you counter. So every time you do one of those um, quick time counter sequences, you get a little might for it. Very useful. Okay, going ape. Dodge when it says dodge. Then go back to working on the same guy. As soon as he turns green, do a drain, and you'll kill him instantly. And then rinse and repeat with all the other guys. These guys, I, I strongly recommend that you just wait. Wait for the series of counters. There's one, there's two. They always attack like in either pairs or all at once. And then there's like a dodge move you have to do, so dodge their, their attack. Once that's all out of the way, once again go ape on one of them. Make sure you focus on the same one and get ready to counter. Always in like either pairs or all at once. And they try to catch you off guard. Once they're kind of like spent, you know, then go once again go out to the same one. Now the guy I was working on is right that guy right there. You get like kind of frustrating if you if your timing kind of gets out of sync, you know what I mean? And they catch you off guard repeatedly. There, they all attacked at once. Big time, that's okay. But they're spent now. So they do the little magic fire thing and now's the time to, to attack. They are vulnerable to execution, so as soon as you build up your might, execution does a lot of damage. And continue with the counter. You kind of have to have like nerves of steel, like, because they, they kind of like slowly walk towards you, and, but they don't do anything. It's, it's all about like this counter move you have to do. Okay, so two are down, three left. Each time you take one down, it gets a lot easier. That's why I strongly recommend you focus on one at a time when you're attacking. Take the time to find out where he is, look around, see the one that you're working on, and go get him. Don't try to fight them all, it's ridiculous, it's pointless. Reducing their numbers is going to make this fight a lot easier. There we go, got that guy in the green. Even when you're trying to drain, they'll try to attack. Boom, and then there were two. Now it gets exponentially easier, because there's only two of them. So once they spend their attacks, you know, you'll know when to, to go ape on them. There's one. There's two. Now you know, you know it's time. You got like time. Normally. Got him in the green. That's it. Then there is one. This is probably one of the tougher Nazgul fights, like fa facing five at once. Later on, um, spoiler alert, okay, spoiler alert, um, later on you'll be facing them with other enemies along with other enemies. 
like captains and, and drakes, it gets really freaking hellacious trying to face these guys. Even just one, facing one along with other enemies, it's absolutely hellacious. So yeah, get get used to dealing with these guys because it's not like a one shot deal. This is it's part of the game. Claim him today. <laughs> 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 So it is true. You killed me. And yet you live. What is that like, to die and live again? Do you feel pain? Do you suffer? What of the city? Of the Palantir? The Nazgul have taken both. They belong to the Dark Lord now. And I have failed. What if you keep fighting? He wields the light of Galadriel. He can't recover the ring. Your rings are the cause of all this, Elf Lord. I can see it. I see. Who are you? I'm the Blade of Galadriel. Since when does Galadriel work with assassins? Great threats make for unlikely alliances. You know this better than most. Now tell me more about this ring. We crafted it to defeat Sauron. But it was lost to the great spider Shelob. The Nazgul will be drawn to the power of the ring. We cannot let it fall into Sauron's hands. 
The light of Galadriel, give it to us! Stay your hand. My light will protect us, but it will not leave my side. We must move quickly. Try to keep up. All right, so we've met Atariel. Get used to this lady because you're going to be working with her a lot on many missions to come. And this is just basically following her lead. And there's a lot of dialogue here, so I'm just going to like, um, I'll wait till we get to the camp and I'll pick up the commentary from there. They must not get my ring. Can the Norsecore defeat one so great as Shilob? Together they wield a terrible power. Even Shilob's brood fear the Norsecore. We must hurry. Shilob has the power of the new ring. You need not remind me. But powerful though my ring is, the Norsecore wield rings of their own. Our only hope is the light of Galandrium. It shall protect us, but I shall be the one to wield it. We are nearly there. Ready yourself. And do not stray far from my side. Sacrifices must be made. Why no? Take the ring. Build your army. Your path will be made clear. Destroy this ring. It belongs to us. Your legend holds true, Celebrimbor. This ring is different. We can use it to defeat Sauron. I strike down men corrupted by these rings. Do not become one of them. When the time comes, I will do what is needed. Perhaps. 
Get as far from here as you can. The ring rates will return. They always do. Our paths will cross again. And with that's it, we get transported to a new region. My favorite region in the game, Nernin. Lots of wide open spaces, lots of elbow room. Completely different from uh, Kirith Ungol. And thus begins Act 2, Rise to Power. The gameplay is going to change considerably as soon as we get the Dominate skill and later on the Dominate Captain skill. Alright, here we go. Use the new ring to build your army. Da -da -da -da. Stealth. If possible, we should remain undetected until we have tilted the odds in our favor. Okay, your objective is to dominate 10 archers. You have a new skill. Make sure that if you have a dagger that pops heads. Some daggers have that bonus, like you instantly pop heads uh, once you start draining them. Make sure that that's not hooked up. Otherwise, you won't be able to do any stealth draining. Right here, like this. If you, if you have a dagger like that, disable it. Put on another dagger. Otherwise, you're going to completely screw up this mission. Alright, so once you're all set to go, your drain button will now dominate all orcs. So instead of killing them, it'll turn them into allies. These archers will be more than just our weapons. They will be our eyes. Not slay the archers, dominate them. <laughs> they are to be our army. Yeah. That was Mr. Fumblefingers. He pressed the attack button instead of the drain button. Okay, back on track now. Press the drain button, Slack. Adam boy, he's a learner. Okay. That's two. Okay, so we got four guys down there. Let's get them before they start moving around too much. Get this guy first. Basically, what the game is doing is it's. This is kind of an in-game tutorial on uh, using archers as your allies, you know, so if you go into any area in the game henceforth and there's archers, um, you might be better off 
dominating them than killing them because they can help you out. I know one in one mission in particular that's coming up, it really helps to dominate all the archers. They can then they make total mincemeat of a captain. I'll show you later on. I believe that mission is called the ritual. Okay, now here's where it gets a little tricky. I'm gonna go for the guy on the right first. This guy right here. Only have to get two more. You are as strong as these warriors One are. more. We're gonna get this guy. And that's it. Alright, so now to activate them, press whatever button that is for you. For me, it's four. And all your guys will fight for you. Now, if you dominate guys, uh, if you dominate orcs and you go into combat, like right in front of them. You don't have to activate them, they'll just start fighting for you anyways. Okay, so we have to defeat 25 guys. Any way you can, doesn't matter. Smack down, burn him, shoot him with a bow, however you can. We require more warriors, stronger warriors. That is it, mission complete. And we are now in the new region of Nernan. We're going to be trapped here for about half a dozen missions. But it's like other other regions to get all kinds of collectibles and whatnot, and nemesis missions and story missions. Lots to do here, lots to do in this new region. We will also require commanders, exceptional orcs who can do more than simply serve as fodder. What of this forest? It calls more than fallen enemy. Do not be too eager to deal out death. We can put these archers to use. Okay, the game's stepping on its own commentary there. Okay, let's put it out of its misery. Thanks a lot for watching. And if you thought this video was remotely entertaining, I know we're informative. Hey, you know what to do. Give the old slacks here a big old thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. And um stuff like that there. Thanks for watching. See you next video. Hey guys, real walkthroughs like these are an endangered species here on YouTube. For a complete lowdown on the YouTube video game walkthrough scene, check out my Patreon page and please consider making a donation to yours truly, Major Slack, to help keep real walkthroughs alive on YouTube. You can donate as little as $1. That's $1, that's all. That's all it takes. Alright? Thanks a lot. Really appreciate it.